It's a creepy cat. Look at how creepy he is. guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. I am Misty and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and I also own a brick and mortar antique store called Wildflower Antiques and I also have live sales each Wednesday at 1 Eastern Standard Time here on my YouTube channel. This video is, it's kind of a combination video, I guess. I have been shopping all of these live sales, I think as well as some of y'all have too and i am going to show some of the things that i have purchased from some of my reseller friends and our reseller family i think we're all kind of a family we all kind of just we've gotten to know each other so well over these last couple of weeks so we're kind of like family so i'm going to show you some of the things that i have purchased from them just so you know i do post a calendar of all of these sales that will be happening every week on my instagram page as well as in the community tab of my YouTube channel. So you can click at the very top where it says community and it should show up right. You might have to scroll down a little bit and find those schedules, but you can access the schedules to find out when you can participate and watch and just kind of hang out with us during these live sales. They've been a lot of fun. All right, so the first items that I want to show you that I bought came from Stephanie from Thrifting Adventures. Here is her card. She has a YouTube channel also called Thrifting Adventures and a Instagram page. So make sure that you check her out. One of the things that I got was this Peter Rabbit book. And I'm going to send this to a friend of mine that who, who loves Peter Rabbit. So I thought that she might be able to use some of this in her scrapbooking or some of her displays. So this is going to a friend of mine. You know who you are, Alex. So she can use this in some of her crafts. I also got a, oops, it's gonna fall over. I also got this really cool set of playing cards. They're vintage, made by Neiman Marcus. They probably were sold, um, I don't know, maybe with a perfume set or they were just like a, just a promotional thing. But I liked the mod colors on them. I thought that they were fun. I'm probably, I might use them as package toppers. I haven't decided yet, but they are, and I haven't counted them to see if they're all in there. They kind of appear that they are. I just thought that they were a fun little set of cards. This does have the Joker cards. They are from Congress Cards. Very fun. So I got that, and they do have this nice little case that they fit in. Neiman Marcus. I also got, this is fun, this is a Garfield thermos. Now, as a child, I had a Garfield lunchbox, and I remember you would sometimes take some SpaghettiOs, and it would keep this warm, warm. You know, you'd have to put them pre-warmed up, and then you put it in here. That's not a very big serving size, but man, as a child, that seems like a lot. You take your raviolis or your spaghettios. And this has the the uh, sticker on the bottom. I just liked it. I don't know. She showed it and I thought, I need that. It's dated 1984. I don't know. It's just fun. If you collect Garfield, you can actually put it, you know, on a shelf and display your Garfield figurines with it. When it comes to eating, I'm a genius. Me too, Garfield. And then I got a package of doilies now i don't decorate with doilies myself so actually i did buy these to resell and i tell people all the time if you're buying something from me from one of my live sales and you want to resell it go ahead that's that's the name of the game that's what we do so i probably all oh, oh i forgot that i got those see i haven't opened these boxes in so long i've forgotten what i have got oh this is a really pretty tablecloth so cute, all hand stitched. So this is something that I will be selling in an upcoming live sale, is the Stoily. It's very pretty, very pretty for um, summer. And then here is a pack of vintage Christmas cards. Oh, these would be great package toppers too. That's kind of why I bought these. I thought that I would use them for package toppers around Christmas time. 
So cute. Oh, get this cute little one with the birthday. Little birthday girl. This one was from Molly. I like finding the, seeing the, the, the writing on the inside as well. This is from Grandma and Grandpa to Leon. Get well soon. If I was all bubbling wit, flowery woods and able to paint all them roses and buds, then I would have made you a card and a rhyme with my own little hands and I'd still have a dime. I don't quite understand that, but very cute. So these I will use, probably use most of them. Oh, fast package toppers. Santa. And then, what's in here? I forgot. Oh, this is cute. Now this little guy I'm keeping because he's so cute. He's so cute. He's a little skunk. I don't see skunks very often. He's just, he's not a salt and pepper shaker. He's just a little vintage skunk figurine. Oh, he's fun. So he'll go on my little tchotchke shelf. He's so cute. Oh, I love him. So he's mine. He's gonna go home with me. You're gonna go home with me, little skunk. Little skunk fella. So those were the things that I'd ordered from Stephanie. And I think I might have gotten some more things. I can't remember. Um, so I I know that some of these, I still have a, another package that I've ordered from, um, I think trusty huckster mercantile Patrick. And he said that it was a delay in the shipping and it's a whole big nightmare, but it's no, no big deal. I will wait. All right. The next box is from Mary from reclaimed treasures by Mary. She also has live sales as well. And I ordered some things from her and it looks like did Mary, Mary, I didn't order all this stuff. So I think Mary threw in some surprises. So we're going to open up some surprises. Oh my gosh. And see, I don't remember. I think, I don't remember if I bought these, Mary. I don't think I did. Oh my gosh, Mary. <gasps> these are adorable. Look, they're little, they're dated 1995, maybe. I don't know. They're little cards, but look at the babies. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at the babies. Oh, there's a little angel baby. So they're like little, they're like little cards that you would put on a package, maybe for a baby shower. Oh my gosh, they have little envelopes. <gasps> they have their little envelopes too. Look at her. Oh, she's very, she's a baby in thought. She's got some deep thoughts but they have the little envelopes. Look at these little bitty tiny envelopes. Those are the cutest things ever. It says it's a set of 12 different Queen baby gift notes cards in them. Queen Holden was a paper famous doll artist in the 1920s. So these are like a reproduction of some of the paper dolls. I have a lot of paper dolls. I really need to get those sold. These are adorable, Mary. Mary, Mary, you sent me all, you sent me too much stuff. So there, here's a card for Mary. It's just got cute little stickers on it. <laughs> Muchos gracias. Thank you for your purchases. Hope you enjoy them. I've included a few extras. The item with the little blue box is portable soap. Reclaimed treasures by Mary. It's so nice that she includes a handwritten note. I don't do that. Um, I, I should, I just don't, but it is nice to get them. So she included some little extras. She knows that I love to do little, little fun things, little funsies on packages. So she included some stickers and some thank you cards. Oh, I love these. Oh, newlyweds. Congratulations to the world's nicest couple from the other one. Oh my gosh. I love that. Look at how fun their clothes are. And happy birthday. Oh, and sticker tags. Oh, I like those. Boss babe, girl boss. Ooh, I like those. That's fun, Mary. Oh, so this is the... Oh, my gosh. Okay. The blue box is for portable soap. So, like... 
It's a little plastic soap box. It's so little and cute. I have to open it. Look, you put your little soap in there. What are those? Those little, what are these? Oh, 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 this is the soap? This is like science. So this is the, this little, because that smells like soap. So this little piece of paper is the soap? That's the neat, this is like wave of the future. That's so neat. I've never heard of such a thing. I don't know what to say, that's pretty neat. You can just stick it in your travel suitcase and you'll have soap wherever you need soap. You can use a bottle of water and wash your hands. All right, I think, yes, the lusterware. So I bought this lusterware these pieces from Mary. Oh, Misty. Let me grab a pair of scissors. I'm going to try to open this kind of ever so gently so I can hopefully reuse this bubble wrap. Oh, I love this. Come on. Come on out there. Mr. Lusterware Sugar Bowl. Oh, it's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Now, Y'all know that I'm not really big. Yeah, this is Nora talking. I'm not huge on glassware, but I have found a new found love for lusterware. I really enjoy Art Deco, that whole era. I, I've always felt like I should have been kind of alive and well and having fun during that time. Oh, this is so pretty. It's just pretty. So I do have a small collection of luster wear. I especially like the, the orange and the blue together. I actually have a couple pieces I'm gonna show you here in a few minutes that I got from George the Antique Nomad. And his are very ge geometric and, and I just like, it's just pretty. Then here is the plate. Now in her sales, she said that she didn't think that they, that the plate and the sugared, dish with the same pattern but the way that she had them set up was really pretty she had put the plate with the saucer or the saucer with the yeah it's not the same pattern but that does look really pretty together you know okay mary you wrapped this so well i'm having a hard time getting it out oh i remember this now oh my gosh i love this so this is just an Italian a spoon rest. I think it's a spoon rest. But it's a creepy cat. Look at how creepy he is. He's made in Italy. He's not that old. But I just loved his face. And as soon as Mary showed this cat, I had to have him. He will be a spoon rest on my stove. I think that he is just fun. My husband will hate this. My children will hate it, but sometimes that's fun. It's fun sometimes getting things that your family hates. It's just fun. But they can deal with it, right? So that was my, those were my goodies from Mary that I purchased and the little extra. So thank you so much, Mary. I'm trying to, I need to, I'm not going to be able to get up in a minute. I'm trying to organize this stuff a little bit, and I'm not being very successful at it. Okay, so that was Reclaimed Treasures by Mary and Thrifting Adventures. And now these are the, th the items that I bought from George the Antique Nomads sale. And they are these beautiful pieces of lusterware. These are just made in Japan, stamped on the bottom. I love the blue and the orange uh, in this geometric print and I love the ones with birds on them too these are matching sugar covered sugar and creamer they're just so pretty I absolutely love them isn't this fun it's very kind of a modernistic um, lines on it really with the soft and subtleness of the luster so I got those from George the antique nomad I'm gonna put my other piece of luster wear right next to those I'm still amazed by that soap you know paper. All right. Now we have Vintage Vinny. Vintage Vinny has a sale. He's been having them every Saturday. I don't think he's going to have one this Saturday, but I did order two twice, twice from him. The first thing, I don't know why I got this, to be honest with you. I'm probably going to have it in an upcoming sale. 
it just, I, you know, I like the odd things. And this was just something that was odd, but it's this toilet mug, which is not very appetizing in itself. I don't think that this was made to be drunk out of, but it says goodbye, cruel world. And then you open up the lid and there's a baby on the inside. I don't understand. Why is there a baby being flushed down the toilet? Why is the baby flushing himself down the toilet? It's just, this is just the bizarre things that just speak to me. But it has a little saying on it and it says, goodbye, cruel world. The moon may kiss the stars on high. The stars may kiss the bright blue sky. The dewdrops may kiss the grass, but you, my friend, can kiss my, you know what, but I don't, would you give this as a baby shower gift? No, I, it's, I don't know. I, why, why did I feel the need to buy this? It's made in Japan. So it, it does have that going for it, but it's just an odd thing. And my finger just hit the thing that I wanted it, but yeah, baby in the toilet in a mug. All combined into one. Well, that is something else. So that was one thing that I got from Benny. Then, oh my gosh, he had showed this a couple times and I almost got it at one of his sales. And then he showed it again and I thought, okay, I gotta get it. And it is kind of an odd game too, but it's Care Bears, which, you know, Care Bears, but it's touching tunes. And you touch your fingers, touch your fingers, and then you touch the bear and it plays a tune. I don't, I don't know. I will have to see if it, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious to see how this works, but it has this scientific grid and you, you lay your, are there batteries in here? No, we'll have to put batteries in this and see how this works. But you put, apparently you, you put this over here like that and you touch, basically are you, is your body providing the electricity for it? I don't know, but I kind of thought maybe that I might just buy it just to have package toppers, you know, with Care Bears on it. Cause everybody likes Care Bears, right? But I am gonna take this home and see how it works. It's a magical musical game. And look, she's touching his nose and then touching. Now this is a pre-corona game. You don't want to you don't want to uh, play this in this day and age cuz you don't want to touch people's face. But it, it you care bears are here and it's no surprise cuz when they're not touching others with happy feelings, they're playing touching tunes with special friends like you. Okay? Um, touching tunes is a unique electronic game board filled with musical fun, all at the touch of a finger. Just gather around the touching tunes game board and choose any one of the six Care Bears activities. Touch any spots on the board, then ask a friend to lend a helping hand, maybe an ear, even a nose, to help you touch. When your friend touches the touching tunes board, one of the four songs will play. Like Happy Birthday, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Rockabye Baby. If the tune matches your song card, you're on your way to winning the game. Okay, well, you don't want to play this in this day and age. Unless you're playing it with people that live in your in your home. But I, 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 I like. And I have to get this. Who is that on the back? This was just, well, I'll show you and you'll know why I had to buy it. Misty. Misty makes a movie. And it's, you know, Misty the horse. But Misty was a horse. But Misty makes a movie based on the motion picture of Misty in Chinook Chick Teague. I just, that was just, that, had, that has Misty written all over it. See what I did there? Okay. What else is in here, Benny? What else did I order? I can't remember. Oh, but here's a nice box that I will definitely be reusing. Okay, Vinny, you pack things so well. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, 
So I got the Remex ointment. It's the family doctor in a jar. Who needs? And it's made by B.P. Gottschall in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I love the graphics on there. And the font. Gottschall's family doctor in a jar. But this is, again, I call these twofers because you can display the box can display and the jar so another this, box a box inside of the box oh yeah i got these i like these are little pyrex beakers and i think that they would be neat with to put um a floral arrangement in it somehow now they're not going to stand because they're bulbous so i don't know how many of them are in here and I don't know if I'm going to keep these or if I'm going to resell them, but they would be really, really neat to put flowers in, to put them in a box or a like a w really neat wooden box. But they are Pyrex. Let me see if I can get this where you can see them. And there's a set of three of them. They are marked Pyrex, made in the USA. I just thought that they were unusual and really kind of fun. So I got those, and those are the things that I got from Vinny. So the next things are things that I got from a Vision and Vintage Co. She had a light, well, it wasn't a live sale, it was a pre-recorded sale. So I got a few things from her, and it's looking like she put some extras in here. So Tina, I'm so lucky to have a friend like you. Thanks for everything. Here's some more. Oh. And she didn't realize this when she sent these to me, but she sent Brutus some treats and a few odds and ends to keep or sell. So thank you, Tina. Um, he would have loved them. He loved the treats that she had made for him. She makes homemade dog treats. And I had messaged her and I told her that I wanted, like if she made more, when she made more, that I wanted to buy some from her. And this was before Brutus got sick. And I've had this box for a little while and I just am now getting around to opening it. Oh, I know what this is. But, oh, she did include some of her homemade doggy treats. So Brutus would have loved these. I will make sure that another happy dog does get these. They're so, th thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And I'm not, this doesn't make me sad. I mean, it does make me sad a little bit because I do miss him, but it's, it makes me feel good too that she, she did something so kind. Thank you, Tina. This, what I'm about to show you, is going to be available for a giveaway. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna show it to you yet. I'm gonna put this aside because I am going to do another video and I'm. it's going to be a giveaway video. So I'm not gonna show you that because it's gonna be part of the giveaway. Okay, ooh, these are fun. Ooh, Tina, that is a lot of fun. I like that. I might use that more often. All right, and then, Oh, I don't remember. If, did I buy this? Or did, I can't remember if I bought this or if she sent it. She sent it to me. But either way, it's adorable. Look at the little chick with a little wheelbarrow. It would be great for a planter. Well, it is a planter. It would be great for an air plant. That's so cute. It's kind of a bisque. It feels like it's made from Treasure. bisque. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this would be perfect for an air plant, Tina. This little, little bitty, little bitty base perfect for a little air plant I, it's very unusual i like the 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 handle on it very pretty I put it up here next to my skunk and oh my gosh and she knows that i love this kind of stuff. this is wayne dairy quality butter it's a wax butter box but look at the cows on there they're happy cows and chickens and farm animals this will look cute up in a display a little wax butter butter box okay so this is another little little vessel that i can use to put my air plants in this one's actually left in 
very very pretty it's not the same as this little guy but it's a really nice little vessel for an air plant it is marked left in on the bottom left in china so that is really super pretty I like that, Tina. So, yes, that other thing I'm not going to open and show you right now because I'm going to show it to you in another video that's going to be included in a giveaway I'm going to be doing. And I'm really excited to open that box for the giveaway. And I haven't opened it yet. So um, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye for now. I hope that you enjoyed watching me open the stuff that I bought from the other live sales. So it's been a lot of fun. Make sure that you do check out the calendar of sales that's available in my community tab so you can find out when these sales are going on and just come in and hang out with us it's a lot of cool stuff and a lot of cool people and i hope give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye guys